here we go! Two months of absence about to end here at MEA. The biggest championship in the MEA series, the GT Championship Series. 22 cars in the A lobby. Some guys from the back are going to have to work here tonight. But we are going green flag racing here at Silverstone. Some of the drivers having problems. And in the back, it looks like Savitar got the raw end of a deal. And the battle for the race lead still on its LMP juice box to the inside of RZX Jaguar. His team leader and teammate RZX JJ Reds following suit in the third spot. It's SSR Brett Ward in the fourth position right behind him. RZM Crow already up to the fifth place spot. And now Jaguar under fire. JJ Reds looks to the inside. BMW versus Jag. Side by side going into the corner. JJ holds the inside line. Jag's going to lay off just a little bit right there. JJ now to the outside. It's going to be Jaguar to the inside now. Brett, we're trying to capitalize. RZM Pro and AMS Sandman currently right behind them looking to pounce. However, as he goes in line for position number nine, side by side with TNR Horizon. Horizon looks like he might have laid off. They're not 100% sure. Because in that in that Cayman, you can have a grip tune or a uh, power tune. As you see, RZM popping to the inside of him in the other Cayman to take over that 10th spot. Behind them, however, RZM Sean in the 13th spot. But ESV barcode, or sorry, that was Bobberts we hopped on board with. Oh, and Bobberts gets close to the corner! As well. he's got a and he's got a remix in that 16th spot. Trying to make something happen. Barcode on the outside of Sideways right now behind them. And look at this move by Design and Breeze takes it oh, right off the edge as Remix gets down to the inside. A big pass to the outside by EXR Remix. Slowly he gains trying about to get through this field, picking him off as best as he can. One of the best as TNR Bryant looks to try to take over a spot from ESV Breeze now. And he does. He gets to the inside and will take over the A spot from Breeze. However, Diamond trying to hang toe to toe with RCM popping. And they collide and they go off the so the these sand. guys are really duking it out right now. And uh, Bobberts has been able to kind of rebound from that as he goes to work now to the inside of Diamond Man 2014 right there. Also popping his back in the picture. So he gets way out wide. Not sure who that is. And Bobberts now to the inside. Diamond Man trying to follow suit right there. That might have been Remix. I think that was Remix that got wide there. And oh boy, Jack's just in a whole bunch of traffic right now he's trying to hang on tight and he's doing as best as he can to hop back up to the front for a moment as four cars now doing a fight here juice box got passed by crow and look at this sean now gets to the inside of vanquish who was on the outside of juice box just wasn't able to hang on and sean now trying to take over that spot vanquish kind of got a little bit of a roadblock in front of him as juice box but didn't have much momentum but here comes the power of the bentley vanquish trying to shrug off sean right there sean sticks to the inside they're still side by side around the corner now still side by side around the edge and Sean's going to have to lift just a little bit right here. Let the battle fade just for the moment. Getting in line with one another. Sean still putting the pressure on TNR Bryant. However, bringing in a couple of the race pretty much. Now nearing the halfway point. And Crow now getting the JJ. JJ fighting strong out there. A lot of experience behind him. But he's gotten a lot of experience since, since competing here at MEA. And he's trying to do everything he can, but look at Vanquish pulling his way through. Gets to the inside. He goes door to door with Crow. Vanquish looking for the second spot. Crow not yielding. Crow holding on to the inside. He's going to try to keep it there. He just can't get it done. Sean giving him a bump touch saying, hey, buddy, I'm trying to defend a championship here. Can you let me he's buy done everything right? He just doesn't have the overall pace. It looks like, yep. Vanquish got the power. He's going to go for the race lead. New race leader. Well, not just yet. I thought he had him in the corner, but JJ did a really good job staying door to door with him. JJ not yielding just yet. Sean right there. He gives a bumper to, uh, I think it was Vanquish there. I think he got to his bumper. But JJ Red's able to hang on. And JJ will lead lap 10 still. Three car battle for the race lead.
And now we got literally nose the tail. Three cars here. One, two, three. RCM Crow starting to fade a little bit. And Vanquish gets to the inside. Got pretty deep. And he'll take over the race lead. New race leader, Vanquish. It'll be the third different leader of this race. RZM Sean now getting on by Will because with the reverse grid, it's forced those drivers to actually have to race pretty hard through the pack. So unless they were able to kind of manage everything, it's going to be super hard for them to get to the end. And Vanquish makes a mistake coming out of the corner, but RZM Sean to the inside for the race lead, side by side. Now they head into the chicane. Sean really dives low. Sean to the race lead. Vanquish made his mistake. Defending champion for the first time this season in round one will take over the race lead. Fourth different leader this race. Can Vanquish respond? Hurt at the back with all these other guys. Fought his way through the adversity, but he's going to come around to the final chicane and not only pretty much pick up to where he left off because he was last year's champion, but he's going to win. Round number one at Silverstone. ESV Breeze.